Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Melissa if you're new here. And for today's video, we are going to be potting up some alocasia corms and propping and fluval stratum. I really, really like it. And I have a lot of corms here that need to come out. The ones that I have in moss, I might be transferring to fluval to let them get a little bit bigger. And the ones that are already in fluval, I am going to be removing some and adding them into some separate bigger containers with fluval. And I also have my alocasia black velvet that I'm going to be adding some corms into here like a soil transfer so everything alocasia today so I have been using fluval stratum for about oh I don't know a few weeks now and I dumped mine into a bin like this and I'll give you a closer look at it here you can see. I just recently started to add some different cuttings into fluval, but for right now it's mostly just my alocasia corms. I've been keeping the fluval stratum in my Ikea cabinet behind me, so it gets pretty good like temperature and humidity, and I'm just making sure that my fluval stays pretty good so it doesn't dry out. These little prop vessels, I have a lid here that closes them and the top vents open. And so I keep these like this in my greenhouse with the top vented. And you guys, you ready? Look. Look at those roots. Do you see those roots? <laughs> they are rooting really, really well. Some of the alocasias I just put in, these two here are pretty new that I just added in. And some of them are growing slower than others and some have definitely rooted faster than others. And I still love moss. Like you can see my alocasia corms and moss have exploded too. These are, I believe, a black velvet, a dragon scale. I think there's another dragon scale, a fry deck. And I have some regal shield in here too and a variegated fry deck in here. I think I lost my capria corms accidentally. So I think that's it. I think that's all the corms in here. So yeah, anything that's big enough, I'm gonna transfer out and leave this into smaller corms because like this, the lid is having a hard time fitting on because this black velvet I've actually had not shut. I've had it like that because it's too big. It's like squishing him. So I gotta get the black velvet out. The black velvet I'm actually gonna be transferring into the main pot. And these were some that I transferred out a long time ago into soil. And you can see one has a new growth there. So if you struggle with alocasia corms transferring to soil, I recommend potting them into a much smaller pot, letting them get a little bit established first. And once they're established, you can transfer them. These are the containers I'm gonna be using to transfer the corms. These are plastic containers. And I'm gonna be doing a semi-hydro setup. So I poked holes in the bottom and we will place in another pot that doesn't have any holes and we'll fill a little bit with water so that it can wick up and the root system can reach down into the wetness like here on the bottom and root and grow that way. These cats are down here fighting again. Female furry friends. <laughs> They're so bad, you see them. <laughs> my alocasia black velvet is my saddest alocasia in my collection. I did talk about this in my alocasia care video. I had this plant in terracotta and I moved him to this container. And this leaf is not doing well. It is yellowing. It is probably not gonna make it. And then I have one good leaf. It did have two more other leaves on it, but they have yellowed off and died. And I don't know. It's my hardest alocasia. All my other alocasias are doing phenomenal, by the way. They're just like going bonkers. And my alocasia capri leaf is staring at me. I gotta show you it. I just have to show you. Look at this leaf, you guys. Look at it. Do you see this? That gorgeousness right there. It is so beautiful. I am in love. So the black velvet plug here, I'm gonna be adding the black velvet in my pot. So we're gonna repot him and add him in there last. And so this is a dragon scale or a silver dragon. I'm not quite sure. But I don't wanna pot him into my main pot. That moss came like right off of there. Do you like my little shovel? This came out of a succulent toolkit, I believe. I just thought it was really cute. So we are going to do one corm into here. I was trying to think if I should do another one. I should do these separately. All right, so we're gonna ignore that. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. 
You wanna make sure to put it in the container with the holes. <laughs> okay. And so we're gonna plop it in the container without the holes. I'm gonna wet in the fluval all the way. Yeah, and it'll just wick up anything that's left in the reservoir. I'm gonna add a little bit more in here. Yeah, I have decided not to wash my fluval stratum because I feel like it is just going to like wash away the more you rinse it. So I'm not even gonna bother rinsing it. I, I had heard mixed reviews on whether or not to rinse it and majority I felt like people said just don't rinse it, you know, to get rid of dust and stuff. So I'm not gonna rinse it. So that is one all done. And then I have another dragon scale here that I'm going to do the same thing with. Just wanna get rid of the moss. So one with the holes, we're gonna add some fluval. And plants can stay in fluval, I believe, for a while. I think fluval has some nutrients, but to grow plants in fluval long-term, I don't, I don't know if you would wanna do that or not. For like starting propagations and cuttings, I think it's gonna be great. Yeah, look at how cute that is. And you can see the roots in there and everything. That is just so cute. I am literally in love. I mean, look how cute that is. You could totally gift that to a friend. Like, look, here is your alocasia corm gift. Wouldn't that be a cute gift? I would love to get a cute gift like this. You know, maybe just sprinkle it with a little variegation, then that would be a pretty cool gift. <laughs> we have another dragon scale here. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna grow pretty quickly. I might have to go get more of these cups to do. So we are going to do him in fluval as well. So and any leftover moss, I'm just putting in a separate container because I'll probably use this for something else. And so this baby one is a fried egg. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one. And this one, I'm not actually sure what this one is. Yeah, I think this one's another black velvet. So I'm gonna put this one with my black velvets here. And so this tiny one I believe is a fried egg and it doesn't appear to be doing well. Oh, it does have a new growth coming in. Just this leaf is really small. So I'll probably transfer this one to fluval as well. But I'm gonna put this one in the other fluval container. All right, so we have three little ones here that are done. And so next we have our fluval tray and then I have to add this one in. So I have to figure out which ones I want to take out. The ones that are probably the most rooted with a leaf I definitely want to take this one and transfer it. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> it has done really, really well. Did you guys get a good look at that? So we are going to add him into a bigger vessel. It's nice because I feel like you don't have to disturb it that much either. You know, like moss, you have to make sure you, you know, get off, you don't have to get off all the moss, but you know, a good portion of the moss. And I think this is another regal shield. Yeah, I think we're gonna take him out too. Okay, so the rest of these that are in fluval, I'm going to leave because they don't really have a leaf yet. Even though one is still pretty rooted down there, I'm not going to mess with them. And I have a couple spots that are empty. So this one that was in moss, I'm going to transfer to fluval. I'm just going to sit him right down in here and then just scoop out what was left in the other one. Just 
gonna give all these a little water. All right, now that all fits in there, the corms and everything fit into that one. And this one I'll put back in my cabinet until they grow a leaf. And then I'll need to get like a little tray or something to put all these cups in. I don't know if they'll all fit in here. Might be able to fit it in like that. And then I'll just leave these open in my greenhouse. I'll just sit them all like that. So this is like the beginning stage and this is like the next stage. And then once these ones grow more, I will pot these into a pot. That is my plan. Next up, we are going to be potting up all the alocasia corms. We're not gonna do anything with the fry deck. I just wanted to show you. So <laughs> these are all the black velvet. So I have two in moss here, and then I had two separate ones that were already potted into soil. So basically I'm gonna be plugging these back into the main pot and this as well, so that we can fill out my black velvet. And I really didn't want to disturb this plant and like mess with the soil or anything but I don't think I can get these corms in here without like uprooting it. I'm really not gonna disturb it too much. I'm just loosening all that I can. I just don't wanna disturb her. I accidentally ripped a root. Yeah, I mean, the roots look okay. I just don't know why she's giving me such a hard time. So I'm gonna leave her in the middle. I probably shouldn't have unrooted her. I hope I didn't stress her out. She doesn't have quite as much roots as I would like. So I'm gonna use some of these inoculants to help the roots out because I feel like they're not where I want them to be. This is the mycorrhizal fung fungi. All right, so I sprinkled a bunch in there. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I'm gonna plug each of these ones that were in moss right next to each other. Oh, there's actually a separate one here too. You see that? It doesn't really have a leaf. He might not make it. I'm just gonna plug them down in there. Whoops. I want to reuse this dirt. So I'm going to go on this side. So one alocasia corm we're going to add down in here. And our other one. This is the one that I, I believe is a, is a black velvet. I think it is. Okay, we're going to pluck um, maybe do this side over here. And then for these two that are in soil, we're gonna plug one over here. And this guy we're gonna do over here. and then just fill up, that is all we're doing. Because I just repotted this allocation not too long ago, so the soil is completely fine to use. I normally use this tool and, you know, add them, pluck them back in, but I think, I don't know, I felt like I just wanted to do it this way. All right, I think we're good. All right, so you can see all the little baby corms I've added in to the main pot. I do expect this leaf is gonna go, but it should give these corms some time to root in here. 
And the soil is pretty wet, so I don't want to really water too much. I'm just going to moisten it a little. Okay. Yeah, I'll be excited to see how, how it does pan out. My Silver Dragon is doing phenomenal that I had combined and I had several corms that I added in that's rooting and doing well. So I'm really excited. My alocasia seem to be doing well, except for this one. But I'm hoping with the addition of these corms, it'll grow nice and big and full for me. So that is the plan anyway, and I'll be excited to see how it does and do updates on that one. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I just wanted to get some of these corms taken care of. I knew they were getting kind of big for this container. So thank you guys, and I'll definitely keep you updated on the progress of all these and how they're doing. And I have two corms from the variegated fry deck in here when I repotted it. So I'm gonna be super thrilled to watch those grow. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all again very soon. Mm -hmm.